Welcome everyone, my name is Nicole and today we have about a 20 minute mandala practice. So we'll be moving around the mat in a circular fashion and then back around and hopefully warming up our bodies in the process. We're gonna begin standing at the top of our mat and we're just gonna take a moment to arrive and notice what our feet are doing. Um, so maybe pick the toes up and play with, see if you just place your weight a little bit more evenly on all four corners and then lift up through the knees, engage the legs, engage your core, pick the shoulders up, lightly roll them down and we have arrived in our Samasthiti pose. And just take a moment to bring in the breath now, breathing deeply in through the nose and out. Breathing deeply in and out. Bring your hands to palms, touch at heart center. If you'd like to set an intention for this class, now's a great time. Maybe just a word, something great that you'd like to see more of in your life. And then you can have your feet together or apart, reach down, touch the ground, bend your knees, inhale, fingers, overhead, chair pose. Let's bring the weight a little bit more on the heels. Take a few breaths. Take a deep breath in and then exhale, fold over. Inhale, halfway look up. Exhale, step back into plank pose. Let's pause here for a moment. Pulling in through the core, not collapsing in the shoulders, but Pressing down and out strongly. And then lower the knees. Slightly come forward, elbows in, lower. And then we're gonna do baby cobra no, with arms. But, so just pick the shoulders up, roll them down. Heart forward, breathing. And then exhale. Press plank and back into downward dog. And take several breaths here on your knees. Look between your hands. Make sure that they are bright and active. And drop the head. Pedal at the feet. Sending our left toes high on the inhale. Exhale, stepping through between your hands. Turning the back foot out. Inhaling, coming up into warrior two. Looking over your middle finger. We're gonna inhale. Squeeze the legs together, palms together, and then exhale, press away, look away. Exhale. Squeeze. Pause in warrior two. And now we're gonna prepare, turn your front toes to the long edge of your mat. Hands to hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway look up, and then exhale all the way. Inhale, halfway. Turn. Your back toes now to the back of the mat. Inhale, come up into warrior 
to make the adjustments you need. Looking over our right fingertips now, over the back of our mat. Inhale, squeeze, hands into prayer. Press away, legs away too. Squeeze those legs together, palms touch, press away. Beautiful. Come down over your right leg, lift your back heel, step, plank, lower, chaturanga, stay lifted, upward dog, everything, knees, lift, and then pull over those toes, pulling in through the core, downward dog, hips high, take some more breaths here. And then inhale, left toes high. Come up on the ball of the back foot. Step through. Back heel turns, back foot turns out. Inhale, warrior two. Left leg in front. Now I'm facing away from you. And then maybe you wanna bind here, wrap that back hand around your front thigh, and then reverse your warrior. Breathing. And then inhale, come up, straighten your front leg, reach out and drop. You can keep the bind or you can extend out for Triangle. And then raise that. Bound hand. Look up if that's cool with your neck. And then bend that front leg. Come up. Warrior two. Now turn the toes. Point them to the long edge of your mat. And then turn the heels in. Squat down and get low for goddess pose. Hands in prayer. And you can focus on the slight squeezing, lifting on the inhale. Exhale, slight pressing away. And then hands to hips, straighten the legs, point the toes back to the long edge, tilt the booty, forward fold. If you want to clasp the hands now behind the low back and bring the wrist overhead, go ahead. And then inhale, hands down, halfway look up, and turn back to the front of our mat. Lower your back knee, press through the front heel for half splits. Inhaling, coming forward, nice chin lifting, and then exhale, fold. Shift forward, maybe bring your front foot off more towards the edge of the mat. Left hand down, right hand on your thigh. I'm gonna get scroll here, get some length, open, kick your back foot in, and then you can grab the foot or lasso it. A little, little thigh stretch here. the back leg 
And we're gonna prepare to lift through low lunge. And we're gonna move back the circle the other way now. Turn your toes to the long edge of the mat. Inhale, booty high, tilted. So I mean, you don't wanna be like rounding over like this. You want core engaged in a slight natural curve. And then exhale, fold. And you can be on blocks in between the feet, grabbing the toes. And then left hand under your face. Twist that right hand to the sky. Maybe look up. And then exhale, lower. Switch right hand. Left hand twist up. One more round. Exhaling down and then turning to the back, lowering your back knee, press through your front heel, inhale, chin lifts halfway, and then exhale, fold for half splits, and breathe. Send that left foot off to the outer edge of the mat. A little more weight in that right hand. Left hand to your thigh. Twist open. Kick the back foot in. Reach for it or lasso it. Breathe. You can create a little resistance to help keep it a little more active. And then release the back foot. Step to plank. Pause at the top here. Exhale lower. Chaturanga. Inhale upward dog. Exhale pull over the toes. Downward dog. And those hips high. <laughs> Breathing. No. Raise your right foot to the sky. Come up on the ball of the back foot. Knee in the navel, step through. Turn those toes to the long edge of the mat. And now here, we're gonna come up to come down. We're gonna prepare for a frog pose here. So you can so send your knees directly out from your hips. Gonna make this 90 degree angle here. And then come on down. And breathe. From here, hands under shoulders, draw the feet in, curl back over. Now we're in a, in a yogi squat here. <laughs> and if come into it anyway, if that did not work for you, the elbows pressing into the knees, chest lifting, breathing. Thank you. 
And then go ahead and bring the hands on in front of you. If you want to do a little crow here, lift off, squeezing the knees in. Really pulling in through the core, running behind the heart, doing all the things, doing one leg at a time. <laughs> and then lift up and we'll turn back, send the right toes back, drop the right knee, and then bring both knees to meet one another and come into a child's pose. And you have moved around the circle very beautifully, my friends. <laughs> now, come forward. Roll down onto your belly here. And then we're going to turn to come onto our backs. Just taking a moment here. Maybe draw the knees in. And do a little... Happy baby. And then let's bring the soles of the feet to touch. I'm going to do a reclining bottle konasana for just a moment here. up send the heels out the feet fall open palms turn up and shoulders gently roll under mm. come into shavasana for just a few minutes letting everything go finding a position that's most comfortable for you maybe with like knees knocked in or bolster under them wherever you are. Just take a moment. I'll guide you out in just a second. Integrate your practice. Go ahead and either stay as long as you like or roll to your right side. Take a deep breath. Pause for a moment. And then use your hands. Push yourself back to a seated position. Just take a moment. Notice how you feel without judgment. And then know that I appreciate you. Thank you for practicing with me. The light within me sees and recognizes the light within you. <laughs>